February 7th, 1989, Kim Nol and C. Tan Ian give birth to what would become one of Hogwarts's most talented seekers in the game of Quidditch. Bellamy had a much more different childhood than the other wizard kids. His father was of wizard descent, while his mother was a normal human, making him a mudblood. Something that other wizards frowned upon. But despite this, Bellamy set out to become the world's greatest mud blood seeker. That is, until the fall of 2007, when a terrible accident would put him out of the game forever. Yeah, after, uh, after the uh, injury, man, he's just been downward spiral. Basically, he's, he's, got, he's been growing beards. Uh, he hasn't been shaving. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Man, and now I just I catch him singing karaoke, and that's just another another part of it I just don't like. This was the decline. Without Quidditch, Bellamy began to go crazy. To cope with the loss of his passion, he began to delve into the world of Cambodian karaoke, an addiction that would soon consume his life. As the addiction became worse, friends and family became concerned. It wasn't long before an intervention was needed. This was the turning point, as he soon realized where his true passions were. You know, I used to study advertising with him at Hogwarts, and I'm just so glad of who he is now. I, I've never seen somebody kick a habit so quickly. I mean, he's all about digital planning now. It's, it's incredible. I've never seen the sun shine so brightly on a man, especially now without his beard. I mean, he's just a beautiful human being, and I can't tell you how proud I am of him. There was hope on the horizon. In addition to studying defense against the dark arts, Bellamy also studied advertising. Eventually, he was able to drop the karaoke completely and start his life over, this time with a new goal, become the world's greatest mud blood strategic planner. In the spring of 2011, he entered himself to be a contestant on a live internship game show that would prove his skills.